Good morning, everyone. A warm welcome from your sister, Christy Diaz, to the devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let us begin with our prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before your presence asking for the forgiveness of all my sins, that you cleanse me with your precious blood, so that this prayer may reach your heavenly throne. As I come before you this morning, I praise you, Lord, for this new day that you have given us, and for the certainty that you will walk with us and guide us once again this week, as you have always done. Lord, I want to thank you with all my heart for what you did last week in our midst. Our church celebrated an international conference, and we can testify that it was a success because you were present, you were glorified and honored, and your church was blessed. Even those who were not physically present partook in the blessings through the different communication platforms. Oh Lord, as humans, we wouldn't have known what to present, but I praise your name because your Holy Spirit gave us the theme of commitment that your church so needed. Oh God, thank you for speaking to your church. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for reminding us about what we've been called to do and how it should be done. But dear Father, help us keep all your words in our hearts. Enlighten us to understand and give us courage to put it all into action. Because otherwise we could remain static and slowly lose life. Deliver us from apathy, laziness, and disinterest. Make us fervent obedient and vigilant followers of your word because in the name of jesus christ my savior i have asked all these things amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen the devotional for today is titled don't lose sight it was written by nereida salvant and translated by maria elena cardona this devotional comes from the book mesa de fe page 25 and our biblical base is found in the book of philippians chapter 2 verses 12 through 15 so says the word of god therefore my beloved as you have always obeyed not as in my presence only but now much more in my absence work out your own salvation with fear and trembling for it is god who works in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure do all things without complaining and disputing that you may become blameless and harmless children of god without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among whom you shine as lights in the world. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of his holy word. Don't lose sight. Many times it happens that without realizing, we are slowly losing spiritual vision. It is like an evil gently creeping into our lives, and when we do realize it, it can be too late and with no remedy. That is why it is very important to put interest in maintaining our spiritual vision so as not to reach the status of deserters. We must live a different life from the rest of humanity so as not to lose this precious vision of spiritual things. There are things that can help us to maintain a good spiritual vision. The Apostle Paul advised to set your minds on things above, as well as the willingness to comply with the divine will, the constancy in our prayers and the study of the Holy Word. May the Lord help us so our acts speak for us, and we can be of those who keep this spiritual vision as a beautiful treasure. Because when that is lost, we cannot find the path, and it seems unfair to obey, and we also do not want to keep the commandments, and everything becomes a heavy load that seems useless to us. 
That's when Satan, who is always looking for an occasion to steal souls, arrives very slowly and takes over those lives. Let's cry out with a strong voice and unpretended faith. Lord, open my eyes so that I do not sleep in death. And in a not so distant day, I can reach glory, and with a clear vision, I may contemplate your presence and rejoice forever. Amen. May the Lord receive honor and glory from this article. This losing of sight can happen in various forms, but with me, it was the influence of close friends. They weren't bad people. They didn't really do bad stuff, but we didn't share the same faith. And in that closeness, I slowly started associating with their interests, which were worldly. I started sharing their humor, watching the entertainment they recommended, and mirroring certain things that without noticing, the balance was tipping and the line between good and bad wasn't as clear anymore. When we are not cautious about how we live our daily lives, we fall into the danger of losing interest in everything that keeps us spiritually alive. We don't have enough time to read the Bible, but yet we can spend hours watching shows and different types of entertainment. The Bible is too difficult to understand, and yet we spend endless hours studying for a super intense course. We don't have a strong immune system to be fasting. And yet we have no care for our bodies and what we fill it with. Our knees can't take more than five minutes of prayer. But yet they're bionic when it comes to sports or working. And the less time we spend with God, the less we understand everything that has to do with Him. We begin to forget what a devotional life is, losing sight of its importance. Going to church can become a routine, and without realizing it, our life starts losing the shine that comes from holiness and becomes monotonous. But praise God for every moment he has reached out to shake us awake in time, to unveil our confusion and dissipate our haziness, to bring spiritual sense back into us before it's completely gone, so that we are not snatched away by evil. And when the Lord awakens us and we acknowledge how far we've strayed, and in repentance we come to him, with so much love and patience, he restores us. Who is a God like you, pardoning iniquity and passing over the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in mercy. Blessed be your name, O God. He has promised to do his part and his word does not fail. We cannot doubt that or justify ourselves by erroneously believing that God will do everything in our place. We have a responsibility and a calling to answer to. That is why we must not be lax, but instead vigilant. We must be wise in our decisions and make sure that they align with God's perfect will and what is pleasing to Him. And if you are unsure of what direction you should follow, Come to him, and he will open your eyes and show you the path to holiness.
If we close our eyes and disregard the flame that keeps us warm, it's possible we may find ourselves engulfed by a dark and cold night. May the Lord shelter us so that we may diligently and joyfully feed our flame, keeping it alive and bright so our vision is never clouded and we are always near the warmth of our Heavenly Father. Amen. May the Lord receive all honor and glory. And before finalizing this session, I kindly invite you to go over to our YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible readings where we find a mirror in which we can evaluate ourselves and with its guide, take action for improvement. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen. Let us wake in gratitude and walk in grace.